I first learned about AmeriCorps actually from my youth build program. Uh, my youth build uh, program described AmeriCorps as an opportunity to serve, uh, but also as an opportunity to really get uh, some of the benefits like the education award uh, for schools. So it was really a mix between service and opportunity. The reason I chose to do a year of service was because um, I really wanted to serve my community. Um, the um, position, the AmeriCorps position that I applied for was something locally in my community. So it was something that I wanted to um, invest in. When you care about your community, re you really want to uh, help shape it, and I wanted to help shape my community in a positive way. So I'm actually from southeastern Kentucky. I'm from a very small rural area. Um, and the position I applied for uh, was actually at my local youth build program. And it was uh, a position where I would um, actually plan uh, different community service activities for, for our students on Fridays. And I would also um, be a teacher's aide and help out in the classroom. My best advice for students coming from uh, rural areas that want to um, do a service year is that uh, just do it. Right, make that jump. Um, it's going to be worth it. It's something that you're going to enjoy. It, it's something that's going to stretch you a little bit, but it's, it's, it's something that's really going to grow you as an individual and you'll be able to do meaningful work. One of the clear benefits for AmeriCorps is just uh, your education award for serving. So that's almost $6,000, you know, going, going to you for the service that you do for your education. And that's a big plus, especially if you're, if you're like me, if you start out at the community college level and you want to go on to the state university, that's something that can really help get you there. Some of the other benefits of serving is the intangible stuff, right? That leadership development. You're not only uh, thinking about other people as your peers, but really as uh, you're thinking of them as someone that you care about and how you want to help. So just that transition of, you know, you're not just a taker, but you, you're, you're a giver, right? You just don't receive service and support from other people, but you're, you're giving that support. And I think that's just uh, one of those benefits that really just grow you as a person. Yeah, uh, my service here really helped uh, me figure out what I want to do uh, with my life and, and my career, um, really just because, you know, serving others and helping others uh, is really what this life is all about. And without that, my service year, I would have never uh, moved on and never internalized service, what service means, you know, uh, to me and what it means to other people. Service uh, changed the view of myself, found out that I, I love to serve others. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm gonna be in service of other people. It doesn't matter how I do that. It just matters that I am, you know, serving others, so. Service has impacted my view of the world because it really, my lens that I see the world now after a service year is, is really about serving others and benefiting others. Service got me to where I am today. Uh, I'm currently in um, a master's program for public policy. So I wanna be uh, a public servant in whatever way, shape or form that manifests itself. So my service year has, I've really internalized uh, serving others. My advice to youth build students that want to do a year of service is just go out there and do it. If there's any, it doesn't matter if there's any hesitation, if you have an urge, if you have a feeling, hey, I want to serve, I want to try this out, this seems like a good experience, just do it. Don't think about it, don't overthink it, just do it.